Ask Reddit by Milfster Bright. What is the weirdest reason someone stopped dating you? I had a friend who wanted kids. Her longtime BF had been adamant about not wanting kids. Then she found out she had a condition that would make it a lot harder for her to have kids. Possibly impossible. She took the news hard, so did her BF. He still didn't necessarily want kids, but he was really upset the choice had been taken out of his hands. They argued because she thought the only silver lining in the situation was that he didn't want kids anyway. They briefly broke up. He told her he was a dick. They got back together. Eight years later they married with two kids. This is a story and a half tbh. She found out I was Asian. She thought I was Hispanic the entire time. We had been going out for almost four months. Ah, this is the plot to that old song Secret Asian Man. Dating me made her realize she is ready for love again. So she dumped me and got with her ex. That is rough as fuck. I was too nice. Briefly dated a guy and he said it was a turn off that I was super friendly with staff at restaurants or grocery stores. Gladly holding doors open for others, smiling when I pass people on the street, that kind of thing. Apparently he wanted someone who valued themselves more and that being nice like that is advertising I'm a doormat. Bullet dodged. I had a girlfriend tell me she hated the fact that I was so punctual, because she was constantly late for things it made her feel like a jerk. But it didn't make her stop being late. I realized things weren't going to last. I was an EMT. We went to see Twilight New Moon. A guy a few rows ahead had a seizure. I had them stop the movie and call an ambulance while I got the guy out of the aisle, so he wouldn't hurt himself against something. They refunded everyone and cancelled the show. Never heard from my date again. WTF, that's a hero moment. Their loss. I bought her a talking troll doll. Remember the troll doll fad in the 90s? She hated them but I had no idea. I saw one that spoke some trendy phrase she used a lot and bought it for her. She broke up with me later that week and said she hates troll dolls and just can't see me the same way. That's alright, her dad and I are still good friends 30 years later. Lost the woman gained a homie. We were different religions. She went to Jesuit camp over the summer and came back and said everyone convinced me to dump you because you're Greek. Greek American, and I'm a Christian. Needless to say I was dumbfounded no one there realized that your heritage nationality wasn't a religion as I was also a Christian. Definitely dodged a bullet. She landed on this conclusion with feedback. This was in high school, summer between 11th and 12th grade. I had a girl that I'd been dating for a couple of months tell me, mid-date. That she didn't like that I got more attention than her when we walked into a party where we both knew people so she broke up with me. I mean, at least it was pretty much the most flattering breakup in history. He wanted to be with someone he could talk to about things that interest him, like quantum physics. He literally worked in IT and only watched one documentary about physics and I guess that gave him superior intelligence. I dated a guy very secure in his genius. I broke up with him when he bought me an abridged book. Every 5 years or so I google him to see his many achievements. Or I will when he has any, anyway. Her mom found out I was a childhood cancer survivor and convinced her I'd be dead by 40. Just diagnosed with terminal cancer at 50 so she wasn't wrong, but still seemed a bit harsh at the time. Jesus. I'm sorry on both counts. I told him that I do a basic check of my dates names in the provincial crime database it just searches for public files. I was a 24 year old girl, living alone in the middle of a big city, so I always checked out the guys before getting into their cars. This came up naturally, and the guy flipped out about how I was an arc and how I can be trusted. 
Weirdly, his name pulled up nothing. Not even a parking ticket. I had a girl very timidly ask me for my last name before meeting. She had already given me her address to pick her up. I wasn't insulted but I was a little worried that she didn't do that step first. Any guy who's offended by this is at best an idiot. He said I was too weird. I was 15. Sucks for you Royden. I got way hotter and way weirder. Royden? What asshole names their kid Royden? The first time she stayed over at my place and also the first time we were intimate. She broke up with me the next day because overnight I turned my back to her during the night. Who sleeps in one position all night? It a why didn't you sleep facing her validating her presence in the night? You should be ashamed man. I dated a very handsome man from Munich who said a few weeks into dating him, my penis. You will like it. I laughed and said maybe. Next week, I do not find this to be a mutually beneficial relationship anymore. Still wonder about that guy sometimes. That is so German. I wanted him to wear a clean shirt to my family's largest Easter gathering. There were other factors, but that was the incident that turned him against me. We were together for 3 years. I am still trying to get over the heartbreak and general WTF-ness of it all. Is it really a loss if he didn't have basic hygiene and decency to wear a clean shirt at a gathering? My, now ex, fiancé threw an absolute temper tantrum because I did not agree to change my last name to, not his last name. For example, if his name was John Smith, he introduced himself and everyone knew him as John Jones. So he wanted me to change my name to OP Jones. He would not accept a hyphen, OP last name Jones, or his own last name, OP Smith. He was not rich, and his family was not in politics or well known for anything. Jones was his mom's last name and he just liked it better, his dad's last name was a normal last name. But why did I need to go through the pain and the but to change my last name for it to still not be the same as my husband's? I also suggested we both change our last names to Jones and he said no he couldn't do that to his dad, but I was supposed to ditch my family name for a random last name. Oh oh. That's fucking insane. It's an insane thing to ask. Even more crazy to fucking throw a fit over your fiancé not wanting to do it. Were there any other strange things like that? I don't know about the reason being weird but a guy I went out with only a couple times broke up with me right before our date because I hadn't slept with him yet and he found a girl who put out faster than I did. I was genuinely relieved because sometimes the trash just takes itself out. A couple months later he had the audacity to hit me up and ask if I'd be interested in dating again. Did we date the same guy? Lol. I met someone who wanted to become official two weeks into dating. Reasonably, I said that was too soon and wanted to spend more time with him first. He apparently thought that meant I was never going to be interested in a serious relationship, so he started secretly hitting up his ex. He dumped me a few days before my birthday, which we had plans for, because his ex wanted to get back together. They eventually broke up. And he then proceeded to sporadically hit me up for the next couple of years, asking if I wanted to date him again. Where's the guy my sister dumped in 1993 because she didn't like how he maneuvered entire potato chips into his mouth. I didn't get drunk enough, he was wanting to get drunk every other night. Glad you got out of that. It's certainly not a dynamic you want. He got a puppy and decided he couldn't balance that with dating. I broke up with someone because I got a kitten that she gave me, and she never wanted to be at my place because she thought the kitten was annoying. Pets are for life, people not so much. I wanted affection attention. God forbid you actually have needs. In the second grade, Jared took me out for the second date of my life. His mother took us to see the big green. On the ride home, she asked what church we went to. We didn't. The next day Jared was being rather cold. 
When questioned, he broke it off. He said going to church was the only way to get Jesus in your heart, and that was very important to him and his mom. I didn't see much of Jared again until high school. He had gotten one of those dick piercings and wanted everyone to call him a nickname associated with it. I can't remember. D-ring or D-bag or something. Last I saw him he was a total chode. They said I had bad posture. Dang man, that must be a lot on your shoulders. Because I haven't played Overwatch. We're both cosplayers. He loved Overwatch and wanted me to cosplay as Genji because he cosplayed as Hanzo and had this fantasy or something. I told him I have never played OW. He went and found a Genji cosplayer he started having an intimate relationship with behind my back, while still dating me. Well practically it was me who left. But let's say I took the hint. I guess it's alright but the communication was shit. This is so weirdly specific. I did a medic training course with the army, and at the end they took us to local hospital for a tour. I happened to mention to my GF that we went into the morgue, and how creepy it was. When I got back from the course she had moved out and left a 10 page note going on about how I was now contaminated by the ghosts of every dead person who passed through the morgue, ever, and I would have to get a class 1 cleansing or she would never talk to me again. She never talked to me again.